Hello. So, Miss Rona, she's given me plenty of time to sit around my house and do a bunch of mindless crafts, which that's why we're here today. So, with all my spare time, I have decided to do some ambitious DIY. You've seen me tie-dye, you've seen me do iron-on transfers. Well, today we're doing sewing, embroidering, button things, more sewing. And some more sewing. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up because no one cares to hear me talk. Let's just jump into some fun little DIYs that I've been working on to keep myself occupied. All right, so up first we're gonna talk about tops. So after making a quick trip to the store, first I went to Michael's. It is only one only. shopping trip was moderately successful um i didn't end up finding buttons or like five other things that i needed but i found five things that i don't need so let's do a little mini haul so i got these markers for note taking i got this embroidery cloth now a new sketchbook because my old one fell apart and yeah that's pretty much it i just bought a bunch of things i didn't need anyways eventually i went to joann's and i got buttons so my first little DIY was this green button-up shirt. Now, you may be thinking, Letty, that is a Brandy Melville shirt. What are you, what are you doing? Well, you see, when you live in a community filled with people who also buy the same shirts from Brandy Melville, you end up wearing that to school, you twin with high phone. You end up twinning with 15 other people. And that's just not, that's not a vibe. We don't like that. So I had a genius idea. Let's just swap all the buttons and no one will know I'm wearing the same shirt as 15 other people. So that's what I did. I actually don't know how to sew buttons. So this was a learning experience. How to sew a button for absolute beginners. Yes, this, this sounds right for me. As was literally most of this video, I didn't know what I was doing for anything. Anyways, so I used my favorite new little tool, a seam ripper. Wow, I, I had to look up how to use a seam ripper because I didn't know how to use it. I don't know, I eventually learned, but anyways. But yeah, so I used a seam ripper to get the buttons that were on there before. Then I sewed the new buttons on, the cute little pink flower ones. I'm gonna shut up because I've literally just put buttons on a shirt. Uh, not that complicated. So this is what it ended up looking like. Honestly, I'm kind of proud of this. Like this was easy and simple, but it definitely changed like the vibe and the look of the shirt. So that was A plus quality sewing. Yes, go me. Woo. So up next is probably the easiest DIY of all these and that would be my iron-on patch. So I picked up this shirt from Hobby Lobby. Did I say I went to Joann's early? I did not go to Joann's. That's a big fat lie. I went to Hobby Lobby. Joann's is closed right now. Anyways, I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up this shirt. It was like four or five dollars. I don't, When I go to craft stores and I see cheap shirts, I get really excited because I'm like, oh, this shirt's it blows my mind. Anyways, that's besides the point. So I picked up this shirt. It's a very nice shade of blue. I got it a little oversized because I'm planning to wear it just as like a baggy t-shirt. And then I picked up these really, really cute patches. So yeah, I took the iron-on patch and I ironed it on. All right, here, here's past Letty doing that. Hello. I don't have the slightest clue what I'm doing. I should grab my ruler. We don't want an off-center thing. One second. Step one, plug the iron in. Also, this might be just a me thing, but my iron causes like power surges at our house. And whenever you turn it on, like the lights flicker. So that's really quirky and fun, I guess. Step one, complete. Shirt, $4 at Hobby Lobby. Do I look tan? Anyways, okay, I'm going to iron out my shirt first because she's a little wrinkly. I'm gonna be so mad if I put this on crooked. I'm gonna be so mad. So mad. Oops. Have I mentioned I've never done an iron on patch before? Now, it says to wait until it's cool to the touch, but I'm a little bit impatient, so I'm just gonna put it on. Yay, I put it on right. I wish it was a little higher, actually, but it's okay. Go past Letty. Anyways, moving on. So the next thing I did was embroider a shirt. Now, this was the first thing I ever embroidered, so be kind, please. I didn't know what I was doing. It shows. And so I was like starting to lay out the thing for my shirt, and, and, then, and then I turn around, and there's a wasp in my room. There's a wasp in my room. Can you tell I'm panicked? I'm so afraid of bees and wasps and... <sighs> Did you kill it? Where is it? Where? Well, he's down here. I swatted He's outside. 
He's out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm never opening my window ever again. Remember that sketchbook I bought from Michael's that I said I didn't need, but I got it anyways? Yeah. I used it. Yay for justifying unnecessary purchases. <laughs> so I drew out the design in the sketchbook. Also picked up a green shirt from Michael's. So I cropped the shirt and I did a little embroidery. So I've kind of given up on watching tutorials on how to embroider, so I'm just gonna wing it. Somehow already ruined everything. Wow, okay. I think I've gotten myself into a project that I cannot handle. I don't know what I'm doing, can you tell? Oh my god, I'm so bad at embroidery. Anyways, so I try to like do these like sloppy little flowers and they were sloppy all right. Yeah, they didn't look very good. All right, so I just finished the first flower and it went about as uh, I was expecting it to go. It was a struggle. It took me 40 minutes and it looks mediocre. The material of the shirt is a lot thinner than I was expecting it to be and like the stitching isn't very tight. So, I kind of made a hole in the shirt. I think once I do all three of them, or like, yeah, once I finish the rest of them, it'll distract from the flaws from the first one. So hopefully the whole shirt looks a little better than mediocre. Yeah, so this is what the shirt ended up looking like. I think it's very apparent that I did not know what I was doing at all. I don't know if it translates on camera, but in person, it looks really bad. <laughs> So next we're gonna talk about bottoms. So I took this pair of Paxson jeans and I know what you're thinking, Lenny, those are Paxson jeans. What are you doing? Truth is, I got them on sale, wore them like once, and then I just didn't put them back on because like they fit me fine. But it's like, I feel like everyone has that one pair of jeans that like there's nothing wrong with them. You just don't go for them. You have better jeans than those pair. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just always pick to wear like a different pair of jeans over those because they just, they didn't fit me in the most flattering way they fit me. So I ended up taking those jeans and a pair of jean shorts that didn't fit me and I, I went at it with my, my best friend, the seam ripper, and I ripped those seams. I didn't explain what I was doing. Essentially, I wanted to, you know how everyone's doing that like bleach down thing? Like that's cute, but that's a lot of work and I don't want my jeans to smell like bleach. So I was like, okay, what if we do a little bit of surgery? We remove the little front side pocket thing that serves like absolutely no purpose at all whatsoever and swap it with a different color denim pocket it's subtle but it does something and at first i was like planning on making a i was planning on sewing my own pocket which i ended up spending a lot of time on and then i took a step back and i was like this looks awful so i didn't end up using it yeah so this is what the jeans turned out looking like and i'm honestly really glad i did this it was just a simple like easy little transformation. This has absolutely nothing to do with this video. It is pointless. I feel it's necessary to report on the fact that Dunkin' Donuts has a sour, ew, a sour cream donut, and I think that's a crime against humanity, but <laughs> it's one of their most popular donuts. Which is weird. So we're gonna try. It doesn't smell weird. Okay, let's oh, just go Oh, it smells for it. good. <laughs> I would totally buy it. It just tastes like a normal donut. This is actually really good. It doesn't Wait. taste like sour cream. <gasps> I don't get it. It just tastes like a normal donut. Right. I think the glaze just tastes a little different, but the donut part is the same. I was expecting it to be absolutely disgusting. Me too. That was a surprisingly uneventful, yeah. unnecessary, random nonsensical nonsense. Uh, all I mean, right. Okay. Back to the yep, video. <laughs> So now we're gonna jump into accessories. With all my leftover fabric scraps, I ended up making a bunch of scrunchies, which is my new favorite mindless brainless activity. I was really enjoying myself, okay? I would sit down, I'd just like turn on YouTube or Netflix or Disney Plus, and I'd sit there and just mindlessly sew the same thing for hours on end. I tried to make a denim one out of the shorts, but there wasn't enough fabric and that didn't work out and that was sad because I was, it'd be so cool to have a denim scrunchie. Sometimes dreams can't come true. It's because I didn't have enough fabric, but I wanted to make it work. It didn't work. So when I was at Michael's, I found this backpack on clearance. It was $7 and I was like, this backpack is kind of cute and could be functional. I was like, okay, this backpack, I'll take it. I'll learn to embroider and then I will embroider fruit onto it because why not? So that was the plan. So I ended up drawing out some designs and I ended up going with a banana, a pear, and a strawberry, which Looking at it now, it looks awful, and I hate that I decided to do that. I first started with the pear. The pear was, it looks the best out of the other fruits, and I think that's because it's easy. I did it again. I... 
but I decided to do a pear because pear is my native fruit on my Animal Crossing island. The other two fruits don't have a meaning. I actually hate bananas, so yeah, there's that. I'm not sure how I did this, but I broke the needle. I guess I'm just so incredibly strong that I just broke it. Just grabbed a new needle and I, I literally, I bent it. Can you see that? I don't, I don't know. I thought I was as weak as a noodle, but like, <laughs> maybe not. I ended up doing strawberry, which was really hard and it looks bad. And I think I want to tear it off and do an orange. And then I really struggled with drawing a banana for some reason. It's, I don't know what it is about bananas, but like I challenge you to go draw one right now because it's not as easy as it looked. I could not draw a good looking banana to save my life. And it, it translates. All right, so that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little different than what I usually post, but you know, I'm saying that every video now. So who knows what I post? All right, I'm gonna head out. Okay, bye. <laughs>